Here in the UK, it's been a tale of contrasts in the weather this weekend. Over 180 millimetres in the wettest spot, that's Argyll and Butte, more than a month's worth of rain, contrasting with nearly 26 degrees further south, where actually we've not had a drop of rain in some parts so far this October. But the rain clearly has led to numerous flood warnings, two severe flood warnings, that's a danger to life in Scotland. The Scottish Environment Protection Agency has more information on that, as does our website. And then it gets really complicated later in the week. We've got low pressure coming in from the north, low pressure pushing out from the south, combining. So with low pressure, both in the north and south, I think you're guaranteed to see some more unsettled weather. But of course, we'll keep you posted. Hello there, good afternoon to you. It is going to stay dry and very warm through the course of this afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Yesterday, Kew Gardens reached 25.8 degrees and over the next few days, our temperatures will remain well above average for this time of the year. Sally, that weekend. I know. Basking. Wasn't the weather kind to us? We got up to nearly 26 degrees. I, know, I spent most of it inside. I'm having an autumn clean out. I'm calling it autumn sortum and we're spending <laughs> every day of the weekend going through the house getting rid of all our stuff. But why stuff? not wait until it's rainy and dark and dank because to I do want that? Because I done. You've decided, now <laughs> is the fine. time. Yeah, I know, so I missed most of it. Uh, I said I was like sort of hot and sticky inside. Did you enjoy it? I, I was out planting spring bulbs. It, it was oh. all going to Golestani household, I'm Duncan. telling you. Oh. I need to cover them up from the squirrels though. Last year they had a feast. <laughs> Did you have a little cup of tea and a scone outside as well? Not a scone, not a scone. <laughs> tea, no. Well, we were about 10 degrees nearly above average for this time of year, but this weekend, this is the one where you can put your summer clothes away and get those coats on. Let's take a look. Hello again. I hope you had a good start to the week. Here's a beautiful autumn scene for you, that fabulous creeper there. Unfortunately, none of the blue skies we had today, but looking very pretty. So a similar story for us tomorrow, dry and still pretty warm. There's a bit of rain around midweek, perhaps later on Wednesday and at times on Friday, and it's going to be feeling noticeably cooler, uh, particularly by the weekend. So let's take a little look at those temperatures. They do start to gradually come down this week. I notice a bit more of a dip on for Thursday, but more especially on Saturday when we could be about 10 degrees colder than today and there is a chance we could get a bit of grass frost so the first one of the season now into wednesday it's looking like we'll get a dry morning at the moment but then this is sinking south which could well bring some showers later on in the day we'll keep an eye on the timings on that for you and the other day we're looking out for rain is friday and there you go there's those temperatures by day and by night cooling down i'll see you later cheerio it's been another warm summer's day. Well, except it's October, of course, and uh, not summer. We've had these blue sunny skies across large areas and freaky temperatures for October. We've seen highs getting up to 26 degrees Celsius. And rather comparing that with the October average, I thought I'd look at the July average. Yes, the peak of our summer sees temperatures of 23, for example, in parts of Kent, 24 in London today has been even hotter than an average July day, would you believe it or not? It is pretty crazy. We don't often see temperatures that high for October. Of course, it's not been like that everywhere. We have seen further flooding issues across parts of Scotland. Currently, two severe flood warnings in force, 34 flood warnings, and there's more rain, I'm afraid, on the way. We've still got those high temperatures towards southern areas of the UK, 22, but those temperatures are cooling off, if you like, from the north, and that process will continue for all parts of the UK as we head into the weekend. Those temperatures a bit more like autumn. Fiona. Been another day of temperatures well above average for this time of the year. Today, we've seen a 26.1 degrees in Kent, beating yesterday's 25.8 uh, degrees across a Kew Garden. So we've seen plenty of sunshine all round, but at times that sunshine has appeared quite hazy. It's not been completely blue skies today. Uh, we have had that high level cloud around and a very similar story through tomorrow. So once that low cloud mist and murk lifts, there'll be plenty of sunshine through the rest of the day and it is going to be very warm again perhaps not as warm as today and the temperatures we had over the weekend. And Alice is at a Lido in Cambridge tonight which saw some exceptionally warm temperatures over the weekend. A real contrast um, Alex to what we saw in Scotland and the north of England just before the break. Absolutely, Mary. Yes, a real contrast in conditions in the south. It has been very settled over the last few days. I spent the afternoon at this Lido in Cambridge, the Jesus Green Lido, where it has been set very fair and temperatures were comfortably sat in the low to mid 20s, not just here, but across uh, much of this area. And it was like this 
over the weekend as well. In fact, let's take a quick look at you at the weekend and those daytime highs that we saw on Saturday. Uh, 25.4 degrees Celsius recorded at Manston in Kent, but it got even hotter on Sunday at Kew Gardens, 25.8 degrees Celsius. But today, we actually saw 26.1 degrees Celsius, and that was at East Malling in Kent uh, as well, actually. Uh, but let's take a look at what we're expecting as we head through the coming days. And the temperatures in the south certainly are going nowhere uh, very fast. We could see highs of 23, 24 tomorrow. You can see it stays above average for much of this week. But there is going to be a slip in temperatures on Thursday when it goes back down somewhere near to average at around 17. But we are expecting a slight boost in temperatures for Friday. But I can tell you that as we head into uh, next weekend, it is going to be feeling somewhat uh, cooler and perhaps somewhat more autumnal. But here uh, this evening, it certainly feels like a summer evening and there's still people in the water behind me enjoying the very mild conditions. But how is it all going to pan out over the next few days? So let's take a look right now. Well, as you head into tomorrow, you can expect more warm weather, particularly across the south. Further north, there's going to be further outbreaks of rain and there's also the possibility of some impacts. In fact, the mess office do have a rain warning in place across parts of Scotland. And as I say, temperatures staying uh, warm for the time being, but slipping away towards next weekend. Well, here in Cambridge, the temperature is slipping away very slowly indeed. As I say, Mary, feeling much more like a summer's evening.